Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again with yet another product alert. I know, we just, we can't stop. We keep releasing all these cables and uh, well, uh, I, I either it's your request or I brainstorm up something new that we think that, uh, you know, we need. Finally, Category 6A Direct Burial Cable. Yes, we've got it. This is the waterproof tape version. Um, this is the unshielded kind. Now we will be releasing shielded down the line, uh, but we're starting off with the unshielded stuff first. Uh, this went through a long development period because me being me, uh, I am going to thoroughly fluke test uh, everything I can. And uh, if things aren't up to snuff, well, then it, we're gonna get back and start redesigning it. So I had to go through a few iterations before I was happy with it, but it's pretty easy to work with. Um, and uh, now, now, you, now you have the ability to run 10 gigabit networking uh, for direct burial or even just generally outside. The, the cable is suitable for not only just outdoor installation in the, in the sunlight, but also underground. So um, I say we go ahead and take a look inside this cable and maybe start talking about some of the accessories and plugs and things like that that um, uh, you would use for this cable. Okay, so what we've got here is our Category 6A unshielded direct burial cable. I've already taken the liberty of stripping off the cable jacket, removing the waterproof tape and PE wrap. And what you're left here is with four color-coded pairs and a spline in the center. Um, a new tool that we have just introduced makes cutting uh, any Ethernet cable very simple. If you want to cut it down to size, this tool here makes things real simple. Um, we do have an older cut and strip tool, which is also useful for this task, just like that. And if you wish to strip this cable, because it is above six millimeter, and, uh, and if you're using between six and eight millimeter cable on our all-in-one crimp and termination tool, then this stripper does a wonderful job of stripping this cable jacket. Just put it through, close the handle, turn it exactly one time, release the handle completely, don't drag it out, lock it up, and then you have a nice perfect score on the jacket there. You didn't cut through it. And that's what it looks like. You've got that polyester wrap, you've got the waterproof tape, of course that all has to come off. Uh, if you're going to be terminating this cable uh, to RJ45 plugs, uh, we do have uh, two varieties that I recommend. One is our pass-through RJ45s. Uh, these particular plugs allow you to insert the conductors, they come out the nose, and then you can terminate the cable. Uh, when it comes to uh, perhaps getting some higher performance, well, we have a load bar plug, which makes use of a load bar, and you will prep up the, the conductors, put the load bar down, and then the whole assembly will go in there after you flush cut. And because it's a staggered load bar, uh, this does increase headroom and performance at the connector. So the preferable plug uh, for our CAT 6A direct burial unshielded cable is in fact our standard load bar plug, our CAT 6 6A standard load bar plug. Uh, the pass-through plug will work, it's just that headroom on the cable run goes down a little bit. Uh, because this particular plug happens to stagger. So, uh, hopefully you found this information useful. If uh, you have any questions, leave a question below and we'll be happy to respond. And with that, I'm going to say subscribe to our channel. You have a great day and happy networking.